Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Bean and welcome to my channel and today I bring you guys a video on uh, how good this brand new Halloween Matrona is for the bird, uh, her Reitzvilger uh, nest. And yeah, she's basically made for this fight, so it's going to be a good time. The team we're going to be running real quick is this team, Brunhill DPS, uh, Margaret DPS, but also a buffer so we do more damage and take less damage because of her buff card. Her ultimate is really nice as well. Uh, Matrona, I'll take a quick look at her. Um, she is the best of both worlds. She's basically green SSR Liz and also a green small DN uh, in one, which is perfect. Um, first thing, she can replace Liz, Liz Goddess, or not Goddess Liz, green SSR Liz two ways. First thing, uh, she basically is the healer for this team. Uh, Warrior's Pride, for every 1% of the hero's diminished HP, increases allies' regeneration rate by 2% at the start of the ally's turn. So um, she is going to be healing quite a bit, especially if she's low HP, so we don't need Liz anymore. Also, replaces green SSR Liz, or if you wanted to use like blue Terrieri, uh, she has the same single target buff removal card as both of them. So that's really good for the bird on the stage 2, where he buffs himself and becomes uh, quite tanky and extra damage and defense. His increase of base stats, you can just remove that, uh, no problem with this. For ultimates, whatever, it's just a single target card damaging ability, and it decreases skill ranks, which I guess is nice, so that way you decrease his gold cards and uh, silvers and take less damage. Then Green Goat there for his passive, so we can uh, rank up also, do more damage. And uh, his ultimate's nice to have, so we can take away his ultimate when we need to. And Sario Link on Brunhill with more damage. Tarmio Link is basically a must on Matrona, so she can heal. A uh, quick look at the uh, equipment. Attack crit, HP defense for all of them. And uh, associations that you can see the uh, gear sets there. Artifacts, though. I really recommend for you to run, I believe it's like Guardian of Ishtal, the... Um, card artifacts that it's called. If you have that, run it and upgrade it to max. Um, you heal like 5% of your max HP at the end of every turn if you have a debuff on you, so that's literally perfect for this. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have it. I'm missing the one um, um, dungeon card from the uh, cave, training cave. So I'm using this one, this set, these three cards. It's uh, at maximum level 3. It recovers 2% of max HP, so we're missing out on 3%, but it's still better than nothing. So just use that if you don't have it. And yeah, that's the team. And uh, Hopefully it goes well, and let's uh, get right into it, stop wasting any more time, and hopefully um, Matrona is going to carry with her support, because she's not really a damage dealer, she is a support unit. But yeah, as we get loaded in though, if you're new, make sure to sub, we're on the road to 3k subs. Also, if you enjoy today's video, or if it helps you out, consider leaving a like, uh, I'd really appreciate it, and it really does help out. But alright, we get loaded in here, and it's not going to be a guide also, it's going to be just me showing you guys how good Matrona can be. Um, if you want a proper guide, look on my channel, or I'll link it on top of your screen now. Uh, how to beat every, or no, not every stage. Stage 1 or stage 2. But what I'm gonna do here is the usual that I always do. Just toss out the um, Pumpkin Bombs, the Margaret card, and the Matrona card, because we don't need to remove Bows until the second stage, not stage 1. We taunt up, of course, so she can start tanking. And, uh, we'll see how RNG is feeling today. Hmm. All right. I really wish actually Matrona. I mean, she looks amazing, by the way. Uh, the thigh goddess, if you will. Um, but I really wish she had her Halloween hat that she has, like in her promotional picture, and also her weapons, like the glowing ones, on like Halloween theme. I guess you can call it. It's a shame we don't have it though. Actually, I'll do this. Yeah. Alright, I think even Brunhild has enough damage, um, second turn to just finish off the boss, yeah, she's disgusting. Literally the best unit for damage in this bird boss, and it's not even up for a debate. Alright, you push into the next phase, and just like that. This one, you don't really need to worry about anything. Ooh, more Brunhild card, that's perfect. Um, we still have the taunt, which is good. I will... Buff up, I guess. Attack with Brunhild, and then use this attack. We get double ult, which is really, really good. With Brunhild and also Margaret. And... Hmm. Yeah, that's basically not much to it. We're, we're good. It's looking, it's looking pretty good so far. Look at the damage. We only have to deal with the, da or the damage reduction from his passive in the second... No, the third phase and the fourth phase. 
And I'm not even going to buff myself or taunt because I know for sure we're going to clear this phase. And uh, look, okay, look at this. Uh, Matrona basically fully heals and heals our teammates as well because of her passive. Um, I'll just level one buff just because I can. Ults with you. That gives me, um, or that finishes off the bird. And then just supposedly use the Brunhild card, but it's not going to work because uh, we're not going to be able to use it because the bird's going to be cleared for this phase. Yep. All right. I have a ultimate with Brunhild, which I probably will use, um, so I can start building her ultimate move gauge again. And hopefully the game gives me some power strike cards. Nope, that's fine. Alright. I will taunt up, just so I can... What's it called? Um, waste the card, because we don't really want to buff ourselves here, because he removes buffs on this stage, or this phase. And Brunhild should hit the damage cap, no problem yet. Alright. See, look, he removes buffs. However, I'm going to keep applying a level 1 buff, because uh, that way I can cleanse off the debuffs, and we tank a bit less damage, or take less damage. But Matrona, as you see here, um, she keeps healing us a bit, which is really good. I'll buff up. Ults with go with it, I'll do this, and then I will use the... Oh, no, I sh I'm, I'm dumb. I should have used the Brunhild card first, because he has full gauge. That's my bad. We're not going to do n even close to the damage we would have. So let's see. Whatever the damage we would do here is the damage times two. Yeah, we would have... Well, I think damage cap would have saved him. It's fine. Yeah, that was my bad. That was an oopsie. We're good, though. He's gone. Um, uh, okay. Calm down. Calm down, bird. Alright, what I will do is I'll rank up, I guess. I'll pumpkin bomb, I'll pumpkin bomb. And there is... How much HP? Yeah, there's no way that's not enough damage. And then I guess I'll move the marker card. Yeah, we're good. Next phase, I'll level 3 buff and start working on the bird with um, Brunhild. And we should be good. Hopefully I can get an ultimate too, so we can heal. Um, yeah, there we go. We're on to this last phase, phase 4. Unfortunately, no... Uh, what's it called? Um, cards? Um, I don't really want, even want to get ult of Matrona, because that's going to be a dead card. Hmm. You know what, I'll rank up. I know I have another one, but it's fine. And then... I guess I'll hit you with double power strike, why not? There we go, rank up everything. Level 3 buff, so we're extremely tanky, and we do more damage. Increase our basic stats as well. Literally a perfect card for this. And then we're going to trigger his damage cap easily. Uh, nothing to worry about. Twice. And all I need to do is hit him twice with uh, more Brunhild cards. And yeah, we're good. Honestly? Hmm. I'm going to get ult of Brunhild. Because I, I, I want to heal. Yeah. And he has full gauge. That's perfect. Alright, so I'll rank up everything. Just because I have a bunch of, uh, what's it called? Um, rank ups? A oh, level 2 taunt? Just let me, I don't think he has um, a rupture, weak point, anything, right? Yeah, we're good. All right. Um, I'll rank up everything. I will buff up, move once, and then move twice. That way I get ult with Brunhild. And we won't finish him off because we'll only deal around 90% um, of his total HP because of the damage cap. You can only hit 30%. This is going to be in the last 30. Yeah. And then uh, next turn, we can just ult and finish your, or finish the bird off. And yeah, that's basically how you beat this phase. As you see here, we've had no problem, actually. Uh, pretty good. I will buff out so we do a bit extra damage, though. Do I even need to ult with Brunhild? How much HP are we going to heal? Matrona's pretty weak. Yeah, see there. We have some pretty decent heals. However, I'm just going to do it anyways. Rank up, level 3 buff, uh, attack with you, and then uh, do this. Brunhild's going to have more than enough damage. Reapply the level 3 buff, just in case somehow we don't finish him off, but I doubt it. Unless I'm wrong. Come on. Not very good. As you see there, we fully heal, so we move on to the second stage with full HP. So that's really perfect. 
ideal situation. And look at that absolute goddess. Who do I, what do I get? Yo, I actually get a Valhalla crystal. It's actually pretty lucky. All right. But you see there, full HP. And uh, clear through the first stage, no problem. Or first floor, whatever you call it. And Matrona makes that possible. Um, just real quick, what do I have? Um, increases the hero's crit damage by 30% for each orb. Okay, yeah. Alright, let's move on to floor 2, or stage 2, as I call it. And, uh, oh, hit my mic there real quick. Or an accident. And yeah, move on to the next one. And I think I'll stop at stage 2, unless I get, like, a godly run or something. And, uh, I'm able to attempt floor 3. Or stage 3, we'll see. I mean, like close to beating stage three just not yet okay but this one though um it's a bit different you want to um taunt up you will just waste the usual cards pumpkin bombs good thing is though matrona actually is going to take big damage from this because uh he has weak point now for this phase phase one on stage two and uh she, I think she barely survives with like 20% HP or something. You'll see here what I mean. However, that really works in my favor because the lower HP she has, um, the more she's going to heal because of her passive for all of our teammates. But yeah, look at the damage she's going to take. Although she has a level 1 taunt up. That is truly disgusting. If you were to crit once, we would actually go down. See, look at that. But look at the healing though. She heals quite a bit. However, I'm not even going to risk it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to cleanse off the debuff because I don't want to get weak point again because she would go down and uh, yeah, we'll just move on from there. Hopefully, I need another um, taunt though or else I'm really in a really in a pickle because uh, Margaret's not going to finish her I'll finish him off so that's good. Hopefully, I get a taunt here so I can move on to the next phase, please. Thank you. Okay, easy. All right, that's good. Okay, this is where Matrona comes into handy though. Because, uh, as you noticed here, I didn't use the remove buff card, because he has a buff stop. Alright, what I will do then is... I will remove the buffs. Attack into you, that finishes it off. I'll waste this, and then I'll get ult to Grunhild. Alright, we're good. Move on to the next phase, and make sure you have a taunt active. Or ready, I should say. Because if you don't use it, you will get wiped, hands down, because... Um, I'll show you guys real quick what I mean. Um, he has this card that literally does ridiculous amount of damage. Um, yeah, not this one, this one. Air Blast. Inflicts damage equal to 3,500% of attack on all enemies, and then restores HP equal to 100% of damage dealt. Misses when attacking enemies using taunt, so make sure you have that. So what I will do then is I'll taunt up. I will... Um... Ult of Margaret, Ult of Brunhild... And I'll waste this Matrona card. And you just work on this one in the second phase. And only thing you need to worry about is um, the taunt. Make sure you taunt up. And also, he has a res. So just keep that in mind. Another taunt. That's really good. Yeah, he does no damage. Yeah. Okay. So what you want to do, I actually have some decent um, hand here. Wait, how much HP does he have? Oh, I can't hit the damage cap. That's unfortunate. Um, I'll rank up. I will attack into you. Actually, I'm, I'm trying to be a bit cheeky here. Hopefully this works. Um, I'll rank up everything. I will... Pumpkin Bomb, level 3, and then level 2. Hopefully that's enough damage. I really doubt it, though. Goth, I need you to pull through and do some big damage. How much? Mm, it'll be close. I don't think we hit the, the his first res. Yeah, look at that. So close, dude. This is going to be kind of a waste. Uh, yeah, we're going to trigger his res, though. It's fine. All right. We're good. Um, Matrona is going to take some decent damage, but nothing we should worry about. This is going to miss because we have the taunt active. And we should heal quite a bit. Nice. Alright. What I will do then is I'll ult with Gilter to waste the card. 
that's res gone, and then I'll move twice with Brunhild so we can get our ultimate next turn and fully heal. Alright, nice. Alright, we move on to the second, no, third phase. Alright, here though, um, just let me make sure he doesn't have buff removal. I don't think he does. Nah, he doesn't. Okay, the key gimmick for this one though, this phase, is make sure you don't do that much damage to him. Because if you do, um, you will regret it. Because if you take him below, I think, 50% HP, um, you fully heal him and he does more damage because he increases his stats. So what I'm going to do just to play it safe is I will buff up everyone. I'll level 3 taunt. Attack with you, and then I'll merge the Margaret card. And then next turn I'll go ham with uh, Brunhild. This should hit the damage cap, no problem. Let's see. Yeah. And then next turn, yeah, I can just do some damage. Okay. We're good. Literally gets patience. That's perfect. Um. Hmm. This is only a level two Margaret buff, right? Not a level three. Yeah, that's unfortunate. How much HP does he have? We've already hit the damage cap twice. So if I if I do this, I'm quite confident. This is enough damage. And just in case, I'll hit you with, um, let's see. I'm not risking it. I'm going for another power strike. So this should hit damage cap, no problem. Yep. This should do some decent damage right here. All right, we decrease some skill ranks. Margaret will do some all right damage. And then nice, good thing I chose a power strike card and uh, we don't have to deal about his uh, hidden revive. So that's perfect. Move on to the next phase. Um, we do take some decent damage, though. That's fine. Hopefully, my taunt actually runs out because uh, he has... Um, this is bad. Please. Oh, it's still active. And it's a level 3 at that. Oh, I think we... Matrona's gone. I'm going to tell you now. Because... <laughs> uh, that was a misplay. He has Power Strike AoE. And we have a level 3 taunt active with my girl Matrona. So that's honestly kind of unfortunate. We increased our um, defense rate stats by 200%, so she's gone, oh, without a doubt, uh, which is kind of, it's kind of bad. However, do I have to attack the bird here, or else does he have me with corrosion? Um, I don't think so. I'm not going to risk it, though. I'm going to attack him. Um, I'll get a level 3 buff. And then I'll use a power strike card. However, yeah, I I don't I won't be able to attempt on um, the second or the third stage because uh, yeah, Matro as you see here, Matrona is gonna get wiped. I'm sorry, but this one's not gonna do much. It's the AOE one. She's gonna get absolutely obliterated, dude. I mean, maybe she takes it. Now there's no way it's power strike. Oh, oh, actually. Oh, she's not tanky. She's too tanky. Hold up. My bad. My bad, uh, Matrona, for uh, doubting you. All right, we're good. We're good. Um, you know what? Um, I'm actually quite... Imp actually, I could attempt it, but no, nah, I think I'm going to chill for now. I'll rank up you. Rank up Brunhild twice. And I think... How much is the damage reduction for this one? 30%. No. Um, he doesn't have... Oh, it's 30% of max HP now. I will... Level th 3, and then uh, I guess do this. I'll rank up Brunhild twice. We have level 3 cards ready. We are going to get ulted, but that's fine. We should be uh, fine dam what damage-wise that we're going to take. And he has no gimmicks for this one. Just straight up damage him. Or out DPS him. I'm actually quite impressed that uh, Matrona survived that. Not going to lie. We're gonna get ulted. Uh, we took some decent damage, but it's fine. Going for Goat there. Um, he should survive. Yep. Honestly, I might attempt another 
phase. Um, so let me hold on. He hits. How often does he hit me with the um weak point or the power strike card? Mm. I'm gonna. I really want to have full HP. So I'm going to take a risk here. I'll rank up Matrona twice so she can get a level 3 taunt up. And then I'll do this. I really think... I don't think Margaret has enough damage to finish off the bird if she... Or if she does, and that's unfortunate. But I, I'm pretty sure she can tank the Power Strike card because she's way too tanky. Margaret, please don't finish it off. Okay. Hopefully she doesn't get... Yeah, it's Patience. Okay, so but how about the AoE card? Oh. oh no. He buffs himself, right? Yeah, that's that's fine. Okay. We we are good. We are good. I'll do this. I'll level two buff. I'll move a card with Brenhold so we get our ultimate so I can heal next turn. And then I'll waste the um, pumpkin bomb. That's really good. He doesn't get ult, I think. He just merged into ultimate. We get ulted next turn though. And yeah, if everything goes to plan, uh, we should be able to ult with Brunhild next turn, and uh, we should be good. That should be a heal. Full heal. Yeah, it gets patience. She's too tanky. That level 3 taunt is actually really good. Alright, beautiful. Alright, we're good. I can actually have an attempt at stage 3 again with full HP. That's perfect. We do this. That should fully heal us, and then we move on to the next stage. So that's perfect. Yeah, full heal. Beautiful, dude. This is actually perfect. Nice. We get to see Brunhild's uh, screen again. Can I get a uh, decent drops for the mats here? RNG. Oh, oh! I got. Oh my god, that's actually really, really good. I got five crystals or Valhalla crystals, I call them. And I see here full HP. There you guys have it. That is what Machoni can do on the bird. Absolutely disgusting, and I have a decent attempt at floor three, which I'll probably make it in a separate video. So if uh, it'll probably be up in a few days if I actually beat it, so look out for that. Uh, I need to give it my best go on this one. Full HP as well, that's perfect. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. That is the absolute queen, the Thai goddess, Matrona, Halloween Matrona, and uh, literally built for the bird as you've seen there or saw there. Tanking those power strike cards from the bird, no problem with that level three um, taunt. Absolutely disgusting. And she heals quite a bit, as you've seen uh, throughout the first and second stages. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. Also, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. It really does help out. And comment down below what you think about Matrona or this team in general. If you need any help, though, uh, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll gladly assist you. Uh, but that's it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.